states less safe. Public safety as well as national security are at stake and put them at risk of losing federal dollars. Immigrants are an integral part of this country. Democrats will be vigilant and strong in our commitment to upholding the promise of America and shielding immigrants from President Trump's policies. We are back with our panel to talk about sanctuary cities and states and counties. There are various uh, iterations of this. We want to put up a map. These are the ones that have been identified as across the country. These are places that essentially are, are not complying in some way or accused of not complying with federal law. That if they have, uh, say, a criminal alien um, who is here illegally within their possession and not calling that into federal authorities. Um, Julie, that is a violation of federal law. Uh, but today they were fighting here in D.C. about the definition of a sanctuary city. Who's going to get cut off potentially from just Justice Department funding, how it's going to play out. Look, this is a really emotional issue on both sides. Uh, one thing I've been struck by is in our daily press briefings with Sean Spicer, when he takes these Skype questions from reporters around the country, there are multiple days where this will be the topic that these reporters in some of these places want to know about. Some, In some cases, they want to know about the funding cuts. In some places, they want to know about the enforcement. But this is, a, this is an issue that really galvanizes people on both sides. And I think that you are going to see in some of these places, a real effort to push back, mm -hmm. despite the, the threat of funding cuts, a real effort to push back against these enforcement mechanisms. Yeah, today, uh, DHS Secretary uh, Kelly today had a meeting with mayors and police chiefs from across the country, and uh, Steve, many of them said, you know, we're going to sue you, essentially, if you cut off our money, that we're not doing anything wrong. Well, they are, um, but I, I feel like this, this, this whole question has got really needlessly polarized. I know that's an easy thing to say about politics generally, but, but truly it feels like there's a reasonable compromise here in the sense that the, the proposition that, that uh, violent criminals who are here illegally should be deported, I don't think anyone would disagree with that. I think that's a, that, that's, that's a view that would be shared. But equally, I think most on the right who actually are, are very concerned about this issue would also agree that it doesn't make sense to, priority, to, to have no sense of priority so that you've got people who, who may be caught up in traffic offences or, or whatever who, who end up um, being deported and families split up and that's the argument that the Democrats make and the, and, and the mayors and so on. It feels like there should be agreement that there are certain amongst the many um, people who are here illegally that should be a priority for dealing with by the authorities and they've got plenty to do just to deal with that. That's actually what the president said um, a few weeks ago. So I... It actually feels like it ought to be possible to agree on that. Well, uh, something that people are disagreeing about in Massachusetts, there's a state legislator there who uh, actually posted on her Facebook page, we have this and I think it's since been taken down, but she posted that she had heard a tip there were going to be some ice raids in the area. This is Brockton, Massachusetts. So she told people about them. She said, don't answer your door. She gave them a phone number to call. Uh, Jonah, by the way, there was a sheriff from the area there in Massachusetts who testified on the Hill today in House Judiciary Committee. Here was his response to that Facebook posting. This is the most outrageous, outrageous thing that I think, uh, or example, of what is going on across the United States that's undermining my job and every other law enforcement officer in the United States to keep our community safe. And that elected official who's responsible for protecting the welfare of the people of their communities needs to understand that they could be protecting someone who the ICE is looking for that may be um, possibly connected to terrorism, transnational gangs, or some other horrific criminal history that they've had. Uh, Johnny, he went on to say that he thinks that people who are doing this, state and local officials, there should be federal arrest warrants issued for them. He wants to see him go to the clink. Yeah, uh, I'll withhold judgment about how that would work, but um, <laughs> I agree with Steve entirely that there are some proponents of the sanctuary cities make perfectly fine subsidiary arguments for how social services should be done when you have illegal immigrants around and all the rest. But as a general proposition, th this is outrageous. And I'm a big believer that behind every double standard is an unconfessed single standard. <laughs> and uh, basically, the way the Democrats behave on this is so astoundingly hypocritical. Remember a few years ago when Arizona tried to implement enforcement of illegal immigration laws that was a tiny bit stiffer than the federal government. People got their dresses over their heads across this country. This is outrageous. We have to have one set of laws for the entire country on almost every other issue. 
when conservatives propose things like federalism um, and letting different states go different ways, liberals go ballistic at the idea that somehow different places should be able to have their own set of rules. But on sanctuary cities, they want to flagrantly violate the black letter law that says you have to cooperate with federal agencies about people who are, who are committing crimes. And if we're going to fix some of these things, fix it in the federal law. Say, look, you have to comply if it's a, if it's a, a violent criminal. There is no excuse. If a politician stands in the way of apprehending a violent criminal, they should go to jail too. Oh, I, 